uh, this fabulous view, which we hope you'll be able to see in the background. We look forward to meeting you and to facilitating exchange about leadership and cultural transformation opportunities for OD practitioners in three types of organisations. We would love to hear from you about the leadership challenges facing family businesses. We will provide insights into cultural transformation of Asian businesses and family businesses, including hawkerpreneurship. And this is an idea of a hawker in Singapore uh, who sells chicken rice. And it's all about entrepreneurial development and the uh, scope of work with family businesses. So what are the challenges facing MNCs in uh, Singapore and Asia? These challenges are formidable. How, is, how are European and uh, Western cultures treating Asian cultures in order to establish themselves? This is something new for many of them. We're hoping that this fun workshop that we're going to run will help you to develop your ideas about how to approach Asia, because it is very different. We are also going to be sharing experiences of working with a third type of organisations. Uh, you will see from a headline uh, about pay cuts uh, for 50% of the people working in the state-owned enterprises in China. And we would love to hear your experience of working with parastatals in Europe and elsewhere, whereas we will also be sharing examples of very successful uh, you know, government-linked organizations uh, stemming from Singapore, example, Tomasic Holdings, Singapore Airlines, etc. So it will be a nice contrast about what are the opportunities that lie for cultural transformation within government-linked organizations. So please join us for this fun workshop and learn and let us learn from you. We're there, you're here. We look forward to meeting you here and there. My name is Stephanie Bolt. I'm hosting a workshop about story work during the Berlin Change Days. So it's about exploring and experiencing um, the work with narratives. That means not only telling stories, but also going through the other facets like sensitive listening and creating new stories. I will lead you from individual story work into a collective one so that we end up with a collective story. It's kind of a treasure hunt and very experience based so that the reflection afterwards will be very important too to see what this kind of work does with you on a personal level and how you can integrate it in your working procedures and uh, what the power of story is in change facilitation in general. So I'm looking forward to. Hallo, mein Name ist Dagmar Walker. Ich gebe einen Workshop zum Trennungsmanagement. Sich fair und wertschätzend von Mitarbeitern trennen, wie geht das? Professionelles Trennungsmanagement ist Teil der Führungsaufgabe. Kündigungen auszusprechen fällt Vorgesetzten aber besonders schwer. Und so wird immer wieder versucht, diese unliebsame Aufgabe an die Personalabteilung zu delegieren. In meinem Workshop zeige ich euch, wie sich Führungskräfte auf ein professionelles Trennungsgespräch vorbereiten können, damit sie sicher und souverän auftreten. In einem Rollenspiel übt ihr den wohl schwierigsten Teil des Trennungsgespräches, die Trennungsbotschaft. In kleinen Gruppen erarbeiten wir, welche Aspekte mit Blick auf das Austrittsangebot wichtig und welches die Schlüsselfaktoren für eine faire Trennung auf Augenhöhe sind. Wenn euch interessiert, was gute Führung in Trennungssituationen ausmacht, solltet ihr meine Workshop besuchen. Ich freue mich auf euch. Hi, my name is Christoph and I'm hosting a workshop entitled Evidence of Collaborative High Performance. Um, the workshop will be about the possibilities you get from engaging with the scientific evidence from our research of how abundance-based agreements um, boost the performance and the well-being of your client systems. But mainly it will be about mm, my favorite hands-on consulting tool that we derive to show the monetary benefits of abundance. So we're doing two things. First, a Pecha Kucha presentation introducing the frame, what we found so far in 90 countries and 11 languages, and the social, political and economic impacts of naming the fields that you already know so well. So, but mainly we will apply my number one consulting tool, 
showing the monetary cost of scarcity as well as the monetary benefits of abundance. Or if let's we can pick the Berlin change days as an example or any other case you would love to do so. So um, for me it's important that you learn the first of the many copy left tools we derive from abundance driven social systems all around the world. I'm looking forward to meet you in person and until then have a great time. Hello, this is Adrien Rubatos. The name of my workshop in Berlin is Change Without Change. The role of a consultant in a turbulent transfer of production between two countries actually who have in addition an inter-ethnical conflict. Um, I would like to present, uh, visualize this uh, complex uh, case together with you based on different models and tools we know and to reflect on what could have been done better than I have done it and what would be best practices for the future in such complex situations where change is neglected, where inter-ethnic issues are neglected, what are our roles, our responsibilities, what is our ethic, our attitude in general. Uh, looking forward to learning together uh, in this workshop. Welcome to Berlin, looking forward for you. Bye bye. You're part of something bigger. There are fragile parts of the world critical to your business. Your profitability is only as sustainable as the ecosystem of companies and economic hubs you're effectively in business with. Here are six ways in to seeing how the bigger system you're part of is changing. The costs of water, energy and food are becoming less predictable and more tightly coupled. Besides shared global pressures, what happens to any one of them intensifies what happens to the other two. Because they consume each other, they amplify each other. The faster and harder their feedback loops spin, the sooner and more profound the impact on your bottom line. They flow across regional transboundary networks, they straddle borders and are accessed internationally. So you need to see the nexus at a different scale. Stop thinking of nations and start thinking of cities as the new centres of economic and social gravity. By the time more than 60% of us have moved into them, cities will have more economic pull than the countries that merely geographically contain them. How key cities scale under the weight of that influx becomes the question. Making the next breakout economies not four or five letter country acronyms, but constellations of urban hubs. Which also means we've only seen the tip of the iceberg for price shocks linked to conflict. We're used to thinking in terms of one-to-one -one cause and effect style relationships between violence and the value of a resource. The rise of regional networks with heightened sensitivity to a nexus of resources changes where and how frequently flashpoints are triggered. Tensions will increasingly have the speed and reach to directly impact a broader range of asset classes, products and services. Which brings us to the key question and your way into responding to what's coming. What brave choices will define the companies that thrive over the next 10 years? What business models are sailing into the perfect storm? What emerging strategies make a perfect engine out of the resources flowing through the fragile parts of the world critical to you? This is the new business case for long-term decisions in a connected world. Your profitability is being decided by the confluence of changes happening elsewhere. What do companies that will thrive there need to look like? Because you're effectively in business with them. Your strongest choices are the ones you make because you're part of something bigger. Hello everybody, my name is Barbara Lunar. At the Berlin Change Days, I will lead the workshop with the topic Powerful Collaboration, it's all about relationship and rank. We will talk about the link between relationships and the diverse rank types and how this influences collaboration in organizations. After a short theoretical introduction to deep democracy, we will practice in small groups based on our own business situations and experiences. Afterwards, sharing of insights and common learning. The objective is to understand the dynamics of the different rank types in our relationships and to learn to identify with our own ranks and perceiving the ones of the others in order to be more effective. We will discuss questions like, in which specific situations do I have more or less power? How can I use this information? Or what can I learn from this for my own development? At the end of the workshop, you will become 
more aware and have a deeper understanding of how you can be more powerful at work, with your team or as part of your team. Looking forward to meet you there. Bye! Strategie, die ankommt. Führungsaufgabe Strategievermittlung spielend leicht. Mit Monika Braun und Vera Schneider. Consultants der Deutschen Bahn. Unser Workshop gehört in die Kategorie Leadership, denn Strategievermittlung ist und bleibt Führungsaufgabe. Wir haben den Führungskräften zur Strategievermittlung ein Dialogspiel an die Hand gegeben. Eine Mischung aus Workshop-Methoden, Gesellschaftsspiel und Visualisierungsmethoden. Das kam an. Wie jetzt ein Spiel? Ja, ein Spiel, klar. Schon die Hirnforscher sagen, mit Begeisterung lernt sich's am besten. So richtig zum Ausprobieren und Anfassen und Spaß haben? Genau. Und äh, was machen wir jetzt genau im Workshop? Im Workshop geben wir Ihnen die Möglichkeit, in Spielen zu denken. Und dazu haben wir ein ganz aktuelles Projekt der Deutschen Bahn mitgebracht. Und Sie nehmen frische Ideen mit für spielerische Methoden, die Sie auch in Ihren Veränderungsprojekten einsetzen können. Wir freuen uns auf einen kollegialen Austausch mit Ihnen. Bis dahin. Bis Tschüss. dahin. Tschüss. Hi, my name is Ralf Grotke and I will present to you my workshop, which is on dialogue mapping for collaborative problem solving in virtual teams. This is a virtual team. People not working within the same physical space, maybe not even being part of the same company. And this is dialogue mapping. Basically, it's a way for visualized problem structure. One of the benefits of dialogue mapping is that it offers a shared display for shared understanding. During the workshop, we will together build a dialogue map on the topic of the future of work. In the second half of the workshop, I will give you some background about how dialogue mapping can be integrated into organizational procedures. That's it. Thank you for listening. Hope to see you in Berlin. Jen Hunter. Hi, Marco DeLuca. We're really excited to be coming to Berlin and bringing a small piece of Ottawa and Canada with us. We're coming from the nation's capital and we're right now smack dab at the beginning of the Eco District. Uh, we're going to come invite you to join us to support Don Grant, the leader of the Eco District, as he begins a transformation process. He's looking to engage the Ramping the Eco District in transforming the downtown school. This is a vibrant place, Parliament Hill, during the day. During the evenings and at night, the downtown is empty. And Don's looking for ways to make the Eco District with a community of people vibrant, alive, robust, and sustainable. We'd love to have you participate in our workshop, our social voice for great work. Right, Marco? That's right. Yay! See you next month. See you in Berlin. Hi, my name is Fernando Barros. I will host the workshop named Intelligent Business Transformation, Understand Behavior to Drive Change. In this workshop, I aim to propose a reflection about the change facilitator impact in organizational contexts where there, there are demands for business process re-engineering with many geographically dispersed employees. The reflection will start with two questions. How to enable the involvement of all these impacted employees and how to make more natural the employees' acceptance and adaptation to change. Then I will present the concept of virtual stage with this innovation, independently of each employee's physical location, the facilitator will have full view about all the events and behaviors during the change initiative. From this privileged point of view, the facilitator can intervene on a more effective way to aid the employees and facilitate the change. Is this. I hope to see you there. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Sue Knight, and I'm going to be doing a session on coaching with humor. It was over 20 years ago when one of my colleagues suggested that I went along to see this guy who he said was doing remarkable things in the way he was coaching people. I went, I met this guy, 
He was remarkable, he was entertaining, he was humorous, he was provocative, flirtatious, loving, clever, and a lot more than that. I had a session with this man, and this man's name was Frank Farrelly. Very sadly, he died last year, but I studied his work and his way of being for 20 years, and I'd like to share this with you. Hello, I am Eugenio Molini and I will hold a workshop on intentional transformation in fuzzy systems. Fuzzy systems are those that it's difficult to see where they begin and the, where they end. It's also difficult to understand who is inside and who is outside. And uh, you can't see that they have any very clear and defined internal structure. Working in this kind of systems, it's... Uh, uh, challenge. I have been doing it with, during the last five years and uh, I would like to, sh during the workshop, I will share my insights, my experiences, my mistakes and the approach that I am developing. It's still work in progress, but I like to share things also when they are in beta version. I will also, in the end of the workshop, uh, invite somebody who would like to share a case they are working in and we would work together to see how, if it's possible, to apply some of the insights and the approach that I am developing. Thank you. Hello, my name is Stefan Wiesner. In meinem Workshop möchte ich sprechen, wie Unternehmen zusammenarbeiten können, um gemeinsam die Ziele der Nachhaltigkeit nachzukommen. Wir leben in einer globalen Welt und müssen Wege finden, wie wir optimal zusammenarbeiten können und dabei so sorgfältig wie möglich mit unseren Ressourcen umgehen. Ein fairer Umgang und die Zusammenarbeit und die notwendigen Veränderungen werden uns nur gelingen, wenn wir an die drei Komponenten der Nachhaltigkeit, Ökologie, Ökonomie und das Soziale immer vor Augen haben. Das kann natürlich in unterschiedlichen Ländern sehr verschieden aussehen. Ich möchte einfach, dass wir aufhören, die Zitrone mehr auszuquetschen. Wir müssen einfach weniger Saft verplempern. Wir werden über den notwendigen Change-Prozess reden, wie es gelingen kann, gut mit Ressourcen umzugehen. Und ich glaube, das geht am allerbesten, wenn alle Beteiligten ihre Rollen, Aufgaben, Verantwortlichkeiten und die Prozesse kennen. Dabei müssen wir natürlich immer an das soziale und kulturelle Umfeld denken. Mit praktischen Beispielen möchte ich zeigen, wie man das am besten machen kann und wie man es mit seinen Partnern teilen kann. Ich freue mich darauf, mit euch darüber zu diskutieren, wie man diese Prozesse in der Praxis umsetzen kann, wie wir den Change in Gang bekommen. Bis dann, tschüss! Concerning our workshop, um, I see question and techniques uh, as a most powerful tool to, yeah, to open, open up heart and mind to bring burning on conflicting topics to the surface and to intervene in group processes. Yeah. And yeah, I, I, I trust some people. Uh, they already have a, a key for the best solution and excellent answer. That's something that resides within each of us. And I assist them in remembering and getting that insight, yeah. with asking powerful questions. And that's also um, uh, the, the main topic of our, uh, yeah, the, the main thought behind our workshop is that people who are there also have their, their ways of dealing with questions and will use our powerful questions to get these powerful questions also um, out. So for me it's also a channel, a channel to get uh, difficult topics explicit so this is what we are going to do in the workshop too, I mean, getting things explicit. But I mean, most for me, most important things. It's um, a starting point, a starting point for awareness and reflection. The, the real powerful question in my mind um, uh, challenges both the, the, the people who ask the question as the people who are asked. So you know, it's both both are. Um, developing their thoughts during this this question time, and uh, one of one of the cues that is the, when there's a silence, when someone there is a question in the room and there's silence, then something powerful has happened.
What we know is that negative, stressful, as well as positive, resourceful states influence the physiological and cognitive well-being of an individual and therefore our ability to function effectively. Intriguingly and perhaps more powerfully is the growing awareness that value and belief systems held at a collective cultural level also influence an individual's ability to be resilient, innovative and resourceful profoundly and often unconsciously. Growing bodies of research pose important questions for how we shape organizational cultures and how we navigate through change. Join me for Synthapatha at the Berlin Change Days in 2014 to explore some of this research and to expand on a model for allowing organizational team and individual effectiveness to emerge. I look forward to seeing you. Hi, my name is James McCalman. I'm the director for the Centre for Strategy and Leadership at the University of Portsmouth. My workshop is going to be looking at ethics and leadership. Uh, is the recovery both moral and financial? What I'm really interested in is, is getting a group of people together to discuss whether the leadership of change is likely to be any more ethical as time progresses. You know, have we learned anything um, about leading change over the course of the last seven or eight years in terms of our ethical codes, our ethical values? In that sense, um, what I'd like to do is to, to try and get a, a group of change agents together for the future who are interested in charting new examples or illustrations or cases of change management or change leadership and how that is affected in an ethical sense. So in that sense, it's more likely to be about a discussion of how would we define leadership, how would we define ethical leadership, how would we go about moving forward with that. And I'm very interested in, in doing that in a sort of European context rather than an American westernized perspective. I want to see whether there's a, a, a way of looking at ethical leadership that has a European bent or a European context attached to it. So the workshop's likely to be highly discursive, um, highly conversational. I'm looking to, to have a conversation with people who are interested in moving forward together and what that might look like and how that might be worked out as a collaborative context. Okay, thank you. Bye. I'm Karen. And I'm Frank. And the title of our workshop at the Berlin Change Days is... Challenge <laughs> your ideas. Shape your project. Collaboratively. collaboratively. <laughs> In our workshop, you experience an easy-to-use technology that helps to systematically understand, design and initiate new projects. This technology, which is open source, is called the Project Canvas. The Project Canvas is particularly useful for a diverse group of people who aim to develop a common ground before or while starting a new project. After a brief introduction, the workshop provides you with an intensive Canvas experience. For this, we invite you to bring your own project. Bring either an idea for a future project or a project that has already been started. In the workshop, you can pitch your project, gain fans, develop your project collaboratively and get deeper insights in what your project needs and what your project needs.